So yeah, uh, I'm Johannes Siemke, or Fish. Um, I uh, worked with uh, Julius uh, at SoundCloud and with, with Matt, uh, Prometheus founders. Um, started the node exporter there, for example. And um, yeah, I want to show you what you can do with a bunch of uh, node exporters uh, deployed around the globe. Um, um, it's uh, kind of like pimped out node export, uh, black box exporter, sorry. Um, which includes, uh, which uses the HTTP trace library to uh, give you a breakdown in, for the different phases of a connection. So, you know, if anyone is not familiar with the black box exporters, basically uh, an exporter which you hit with a with a specified target, and then it returns you latencies. And like the modified version now has this this breakdown. Um, so. Let's start here. This is I, I scrape uh, like the Alexa top ten sites uh, from various locations, as you see there, um, and basically just average in this case, which I find already interesting to see that different countries have definitely different <laughs> performance uh, on those on those sites in an, in an average. Um, and you, you see you see the breakdown uh, and basically an average. Um, so that that that's one thing I think. More interesting probably is to looking at individual sites. Um, so here you see some a bit spiky graphs. Um, basically, just a web request again. You see the connection phases, and you see that that the spike is in the in the pros, uh, in the transfer or actually in the, the processing part. Um, maybe somebody has an idea of what might cause those spikes. Or what is visible there? Anyone? <laughs> so basically, it's a single page application on an S3 bucket with CloudFront in front of it, and it has a 60 second uh, TTL. And the bucket is in the US, and there is no traffic <laughs> on the site. So basically, every 60 seconds, the request uh, CloudFront needs to fetch uh, from the origin again. And those are the spikes you see here. And it depends, obviously, um, where the bucket location is and where the edge you hit. So in the US, it's pretty similar. But like in Singapore, for example, it needs to, to fetch from the origin. And it takes like several seconds. Um, general observing your latency and availability from different locations uh, can be also useful to um, detect problems and availability things. because. Like, not every request is uh, handled the same. As you see here, for example, it's just hitting Google. And if you try to do this from the uh, data center in Singapore for DigitalOcean, you always get an error code back because they show you a capture because they don't accept the request. So looking at those, detecting this, those, those things uh, it's pretty much impossible from just within, uh, within your own data center. So you need some outside view to that. Um, and now you can basically uh, deploy your own exporters and on various providers and everything. Or uh, you can use the service I, <laughs> I launched today, basically, <laughs> which is also the site you see with the, which has no traffic whatsoever <laughs> so far. So I hope that changed. So if you are interested in, in getting such data in your Prometheus server, as I said, you can run your own. Uh, I would also um, open source the parts I did with the HTTP trace. But if you don't want to go through the hassle, just sign up and uh, have fun. Thanks. <laughs>